Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Doc from SampleKings.com, and we're introducing our latest video series, which is about Final Cut Pro 10.3. This came out with a new update, so we figured we'll start doing video on it. We want you guys to start doing your own music videos, and we're going to teach you how to do that. Now, in this little lesson here, I'm going to talk about this video I've been putting together about my trip to Tokyo. I was there for about six months, and uh, you can see that. So I lived there half the year out. And you can see I got a lot of clips here. So I want to talk about rendering here. So we're going to go here to Final Cut Pro Preferences. And here in Preferences, we're going to Playback, and we have Background Rendering. Now, a lot of times, I will render. But generally, when I'm working like this, and I'm trying to get an idea of what I want to do, I'm not going to render so much. I'm just going to apply the effect, see how it looks, add some more effects, and then I may say, okay, you can render now. So in this case, I'll turn off Background Rendering. I'll close my preference window. Now I want to go here to this particular uh, shot right here, and I want to see a little bit of it right here, maybe. Let's improve. Let's go back to and improve the look. I want to go to get a better view. Control Command, and I'll press one, and now I got a better view here. I can see it with a wider view. Okay, you'll notice one thing, it's sort of washed out, and this is almost that like cool film look where you don't get too much of the contrast or saturation in color, and this is kind of cool. But what I want to do just for demonstration right here, I'm going to select this clip, and instead of rendering, I've got it set here for a LUT, which is a lookup table used for colors, and I want to apply a certain LUT to it. I'm going to go over here and look at a LUT here, and that's too contrasty for me, and I go to here. And this isn't bad here. This isn't bad. This is pretty good. So it's not too contrasty, and it reminds me of how it looked when I was there. The lighting and everything else is almost the same, so I'll go back to here and look at this. And that's very different. You can even see the guy here with his uh, iPhone camera right there, and they're going over here. It's kind of cool. And I can still see the contrast here as well as here, which is good. And it looks pretty much the way I liked it when I was there. That's how it probably looked too. And so I used a uh, Sony A7S and I used uh, S-Log 2. So, now another thing I'd, I like to do too is when I'm doing this, I'll make sure it doesn't render out. So I'll come here too. I'll come to here. I'm going to grab another tool here, which is my zoom tool. I'm going to just press Z for that. And I'll pull this up. Now, here I've got a clip of, this is Mount Fuji. And I was in Enoshima, which is this bay a little bit outside of Tokyo, still within the Tokyo limits, on the edge of Tokyo. And I can see Mount Fuji from here. As you see, it goes by real fast. That's pretty quick, right? So it's, just, it's a time lapse. So I did a time lapse video with my camera, with the app inside of it. It came out pretty good, actually. And that's Mount Fuji. And this is over approximately maybe, I don't know, it could be the last five to seven minutes of the day as the sun starts to go down right behind Mount Fuji. And it's a beautiful view. So um, it's too short. So what I want to do here, I'll come to here. Let's say, for example, I'll switch my tool. I'll press A. Now I'll just select the tool. I want to select this entire piece right here. And then I want to come to here. I may want to slow it down. But first I want to make sure I am selecting it. Yeah, there we go. We selected it right there. And now I see it here. I'm going to go to my, I'm going to slow this down speed. I'm going to slow it down by 50%. And now, let's zoom in a little better. There we see it more. And now, see, it's stretched out more. And it says here, 50, 50%. Right? So I'm going to go here. I'm going to just play it back now. That's even better. Let me go back there again. So it took a little longer to go through, and people can actually see this view of Mount Fuji as this time lapse goes by. You can see that person in the background here as they move over here across to there. It looks kind of cool. I like the way the view is right there. And this way, as I shorten this up, I can cover my video from here to here. And I got my edits in. I want to see how certain things look. And I say, OK, it's coming to here. It's Mount Fuji. And here we are. So I can sort of edit and do stuff that I would normally have to render out, but now I'm not rendering, so I can just run through it, and it 
it's less time for the computer to have to use the CPU power to render something and then put that file over here and put it over there. So check out our series for Final Cut Pro 10.3. And I'll see you there. Peace.